Hey, what's going on, guys? Stiff Man here, coming at you with Reveal the Shield Trail Cutter Legends Class figure that my good friend Mike Mouse 74 had sent me because I can't find any of these guys anywhere. So, if you don't know who he is, then uh, I posted the link to his channel in the underbar. So, go click that, take a look, give the man a subscription. It's well deserving. He makes awesome, awesome videos. So again, thanks, Ron. I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, you are the man. So anyway, let's take a look at Trail Cutter here. Um, out of all the figures from this this uh, Reveal the Shield Legends class line, this is probably my least favorite, though he does look nice. Um, I'm just not in tune, I guess, with this particular figure. I don't know. I just... Not my favorite color is red, and it kind of is. This is all black. I don't know. I just, I mean, it looks okay in my opinion. Some people really like it. I just, it's a cool looking figure, but uh, yeah, it's all right. And uh, you know, for each their own, but I do like the fact they put some paint apps on the front this time with some of the other Legends figures. Um, they should be putting more paint apps on them, but they don't. It's got the nice. You know the blue windshield and uh, the headlights are like a bronzish off gold color and I like the fact that they painted the grill which they should do on a lot of these legends figures and they don't and like on the back why wouldn't they put a little paint there on the back too so but that's where you customizers come in you guys like they should have painted them up a little bit better you know if you're not gonna if you're gonna paint the windshield why not paint the rest of them you know Paint all the rest of the windows and give them a little more detail on there. And there's the underside. So yeah, let's compare them to Bumblebee. So in ratio, you know, it's a good size. If they were real, I guess that would work. So not bad. Not bad at all. I definitely think that uh, they just could have did more with this guy. You know, same, same with a couple of the other ones, but... I don't want to complain too much because you know this whole line is just it is awesome um, so let's uh, let's transform this fella here so we'll pop the back off just like that then just kind of pop it down like that unpeg it right there fold the feet up it's like so bring this whole piece this whole thing right down here like that and on the back here you'll see these arms pull apart it's like so make sure that's all the way down bring that out fold the arm out like that and then finish bringing up the head and there you have trail cutter with the beer gut <laughs> yeah. so there he is not a whole lot going on uh, like they put the uh, See, that's, I would have put the, uh, the rub sign right here in the middle, just like they did with Bumblebee, how they center, centered it up on his, the top of his car. I kind of like when they do that, you know, instead of putting them off to the side and having it in some awkward place. I like the fact that, you know, they do that. But then this guy, you know, they put it on his arm there, which is all right, but what can you do? So there he is. Not bad. There's no articulation because well it's a it's a legends figure so they're, they're just mostly just for um, the fiddle around with and whatnot they're not really made to uh, do a whole lot of posing or anything they just kind of just stand but well let's let's uh let's compare him to like let's see there's revenge of the fallen prime bring him in there there's Revenge of the Fallen Prime, and then, so they're pretty close in size, and then here he is with Reveal the Shield Optimus. Now, in my opinion, if they're going to do these things, they should at least, I know that all Legends should be about the same size, but still, you know, shouldn't Prime just be a, just a tad bigger, taller maybe? Yeah, I know, I'm complaining about this figure a lot. But, but there he is, everybody. Let's get a close-up of his face. 
got the nice blue there going on. I like the fact that at least they painted what I'm going to assume is like missile launchers or cannons of some sort. But, but there he is. Trail cutter. Yeah, trail cutter. Cutting trails. <laughs> All right, everybody. Like I said, uh, go check out Mike Mouse 74 and uh, take a look at his channel. He hooked me up with some awesome figures here. And, uh, you know, what can I say? You're awesome, Ron. Thank you very much. Thank you again, everybody, for stopping by and checking out my video. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.